Zach, uh, you're winding down, got a set of depth chart here pretty soon and, and get ready to roll. Where do you feel like you are in that process? Oh, I think we have a pretty good idea who the, who, you know, who the top 22 are right now. Uh, you know, probably last week for guys to show something here and uh, with the mock game coming up this weekend. So uh, now we're never time for guys, but we feel pretty good, you know, about, about we got a general idea who the top, who the top two deep are. I know it can be a week by week process, but what things about this defense helps you sleep better at night or and what things keep you up at night about this defense? Oh, I think for the most part, we got guys who like playing football. So they, you know, they play hard and run around and Typically, if you have those characteristics, you got a you got a shot at least, right? If you want to play hard and be physical, um, we still, you know, if, judging by today's scout team period, we still make a lot of assignment errors. So uh, the execution of the scheme sure needs to get a lot better between now and, and uh, game day. But you know, I think they like playing and they'll run around, and so hopefully they're willing to hit somebody. We'll see when we uh, actually play live live tackle football. You've stressed a lot since you've been here about guys learning different positions so they could be interchangeable in case somebody goes down in the game and it seems like you got a few guys like that especially in the front six that are interchangeable can play different spots how valuable is that on your defense yeah i hope it is i don't know man now i'm starting to think maybe we've we've done so much dual training we don't do anything well you know jack of all trades master of none so we'll see last year you guys struggled with depth at the safety position but this year it seems like you got a pretty solid two deep doesn't seem to be a big drop off from our vantage point, from the ones to the twos. Kind of what are you seeing from that second group and how comfortable are you putting them in a ball game? Well, you're gonna have to play more than one deep, obviously, right? I, I would, my message to every guy on the twos, whether it be D-line linebackers, safeties or corners is, there's a reason you're a two, because there is a drop off. So uh, now we need that drop off, drop off to be as minimal as possible, but I mean, we don't we don't sugar coat around here, right? If you're the best player, you start, and there's a reason you're too. So you don't like your spot on depth chart, do something about it. You mentioned that execution, kind of getting the execution up. Is that something that you got to like almost learn it in the fire of a game, or can you do it on the practice field? I sure hope we can get it done on the practice field. It's not it's not good to get you know teachable moments <laughs> on Saturdays. So yeah. You what did you be watching the film from the scrimmage on Saturday? What were some takeaways you had? We did some good things, you know. I mean, a couple, couple nice stands down on the red zone or some third downs, but, uh, you know, give up a lot of explosive plays because 10 guys are playing one defense and one guy's playing the wrong coverage or blitzing the wrong gap. And so it's funny how the ball has a way of finding you if you make a mistake. You mentioned uh, the drop off from ones to twos. A guy like Jordan Davis goes down. How much does that affect your preseason preparation or is it just next guy up, get him in there and let's go? Uh, we, uh, I don't talk about injuries. So, Demonte Russell's a guy we've seen take some increased reps here as of late. You know, he's a guy too that we're high hopes for I, as a recruit. What are you seeing from him, and, and do you think that he's a guy that's really going to be able to contribute maybe as a two in the rotation? I think we got plenty of guys getting a lot of reps. You know, increased reps, and so uh, you know, Demonte's one of those guys. And you know, like I said, my message to everyone is: if you're not a starter, it means we think there's noticeable room for improvement and nothing will make us happier than you proving us wrong that we're, you know, we're incorrect about your spot on the depth chart. So uh, every guy who's a two or three, you know, I don't, you know prove us wrong. That's the, best, that's the best thing for the program, right? Be the best at doing your job, make yourself better every day. That's the best thing you can do to help the team get better. Speaking what do you like most about Tyrus Wheat? Oh, I like his just, you know, quiet demeanor, show up and then and play ball. Uh, and. You know, he's not afraid to be physical, wants time to be physical, but he's got some really athletic attributes that uh, allow you to do some fun things with him. But, you know, same thing I tell everyone. No matter how talented you are, if you, don't, if you ain't willing to fly around with effort and play tough, you ain't going to be a very good football player. I mean, same, thing, same thing applies to Tyrus as it does to everyone else. Speaking of prove us wrong, how did you think King Ani looked in the scrimmage, and do you think he kind of did that? Yeah, he did some good things, you know. I mean, uh, I would say every single guy, right, on their grade sheet from every one position coach, there's going to be pluses and minuses, right? And so uh, we got to make sure we maximize the pluses and eliminate as many of those minuses as possible. No, you ain't ever going to play perfect. I mean, that's the game of football. The other side of the ball is coached up to to do their job too, right? Uh, but but we, we got a lot of minuses to eliminate from our, our grade sheets. With the, I think it was three or four interceptions in that scrimmage. I mean, Coach Leach kind of said that a lot of that was just the offense not executed the way that should. I mean, do you still feel like your group was, was in the right spots and could create a lot of takeaways this year? Let me think. You know, one's a tip ball. 
than it was a you know a rat in the hole or a, essentially a guy you know he's just playing zone coverage reading the so that went to him so that that's a good play you know you get, you get, that's where you're supposed to be uh, one was I think we cut a guy loose in man coverage and the ball was so he was either thrown to the wrong guy or it was so far behind him it ends up hitting our guy in the hands and we intercept it that's just pure dumb luck right uh, I can't remember the other ones off the top of my head but uh, you know hey we'll take them any way we can get them. <laughs> As the linebacker coach, when you've got guys, you know, like Cam Young and Jaden Crumity up there kind of occupying the middle, what does that do to kind of free up your group to make plays? I do think anytime you got anytime you got big, strong D linemen up front who should be difficult to block one on one, right? I mean, right, they either have to in the run game, you either have to double team them at the first level long enough and then it's hard to get up to the second level if your linebackers are are pulling the trigger and flowing fast. Or you got to you got to get off them quickly, and then everything's a one-on-one -on -one block. And I do feel pretty good about those guys' abilities to uh, play with their hands, be physical, and hopefully get off one-on-one -on -one blocks. And if they got to spend time double teaming them, our linebackers aren't making plays. And obviously, I'm doing a really poor job coaching the linebackers. So uh, that remains to be seen, I guess. You got like John Lewis. I mean, what have you seen early on from him as as a, as a freshman, and where do you think he still needs to grow? Some, I think, some I think I, we see exactly why we recruited him, right? Big, strong, good-looking guy, runs around hard, uh, not afraid to be physical. And so uh, he's got he's got the skill set we're looking for now. There's a lot of room for improvement. I mean, it's very difficult as a freshman to play, be ready to play as a freshman up up near the line of scrimmage, right? d and linebackers, you go from being the big man on campus to all of a sudden those guys blocking you. When you got, when you got 700 pounds rolling off the line of scrimmage, you know, between a guard and a tackle, It'll test your courage a little bit. So uh, we have a lot of developing to do in our freshman class. But we like them all. We love them all. They're all good players. So it's time for us to do our job as coaches.